at was the attitude back then. Millions went to work on the home front, including some of the women in this audience today. They were called Rosie the Riveter. This past March, as Jerry talked about, we planted a garden back here, um, Rosie the Riveter Day, March 21st. And the speaker you hear today, uh, Rita Hathaway, she was here to help us dedicate that garden. We went one step further, as Jerry said, we made an all congressional district plan. Indiana, Connecticut, and Oregon are the only states that made an all congressional Rosie the Riveter living memorial garden plan. <laughs> 20 states. 20 states and DC planted gardens, but it wasn't an all congressional effort. By 2020, most states will have Rosie the Riveter Gardens in their states. Some will have all congressional district plans. The 73rd anniversary year across the nation honors ground forces with the feature on Eisenhower that you see here in the front of the podium. This includes those that served under his command, winning a war that brought the nation and the world to a new level of freedom and peace that we all enjoy today. Oregon's own ground forces, the 41st Infantry, was originally comprised of the National Guard, units from Pacific Northwest states, the father of the 41st from the um, 41st and a founder of the American Legion is in your insert in your program, General White. The 41st Infantry, known as the Sunset Division, had a huge impact in the Pacific as it was the first deployment to engage in offensive ground combat operations during World War II. As we approach 2020, and the 75th anniversary of the end of the war, we are building a wall of honor. You can see the many faces we have collected propped up against this wall. As you return home, this is your assignment, find the military faces of your World War II loved one, share the story among the family, and submit the information to our website which is in your brochure. This is a free activity. You can get your soldier, sailor, pilot on the Wall of Honor. Today is an opportunity for us to remember their shared sacrifice, commitment to service, community, and, ca and country, so that their example will continue to inspire future generations. Their duty was to serve. Our duty is to remember. Thank you.